All right, everybody, what is good? Um, today I wanted to come back around to this um, this suitcase concept or being able to run a suitcase off of the uh, Harbor Freight Titanium uh, Stick 225. So today I wanted to try something a little bit different. I wanted to try to do some vertical and some overhead just for all the people who are a little bit more serious about welding and uh, you know, being more orthodox about um, different positions and all that other stuff. So anyways, this video is for you. So I want to get you guys turned around here and show you what I have set up. Um, anyways, let's do this. All right, so this is what I have here. I have um, these pieces that I was messing around with. And what I did is I got kind of tacked up for a an outside corner in the 3G position. Um, so I have everything set up. So what I'm gonna try to do is get you guys set up in a stand and then um, let's do some 3G vertical. And then what we'll do is we'll reposition this for a 4G position. All right, once again, uh, my settings for my suitcase are um, I'm running at 260 inches a minute, and then on the uh, stick welder, I'm running 120 amps. So let's try this out. All right, uh, I'm going to take you out of the stand here and I'll bring you in for a closer look. All right, you know, um, as you can see, you know, the other, you know, the welds from the other day look really good because gravity is working with me. 
In this particular case, I was fighting gravity a little bit, but it still came out considering what I'm using and what the setup is. Um, you could probably complete something like this. Uh, you could run three stringers on it and it'd just be perfect. Um, what I would do in, what I do is if I was doing multiple passes, I would take my grinder and just remove any high spots. Um, but as you can see for, for running a Miller suitcase off of the Harbor Freight uh, um, stick welder, the inverter stick welder, not bad, not bad at all. All right, so let's uh, reposition here and then I'll bring you back in. All right, so here's what I think I'm gonna try to attempt. I want to run a, a path right along that edge there on the inside um, in the 4G or overhead position. So uh, let me get you guys set up in the stand and we'll light up. All right, um, I went ahead and did a pass and I forgot to turn the camera on, but I think that's all well and good because when I did the first pass, I felt like my wire speed was just a little bit short. Um, so I, can't, I brought it up to 270 and so just to get it on camera, I'm going to go ahead and do another pass for you guys. There you have it. That was, um, you know, it went a little bit better. I feel like it kept stalling out because I think I had my wire speed up just a little bit tall. Um, so if I would have brought it down to like, let's say like 265, I think that would have done a lot better. Um, anyways. Alright. Um, you know, it came out okay. A little bit boogery. Um, I guess if I would have practiced off camera a little bit um, and you know just kind of polish things a little bit would have been a little bit better for, but for just doing this uh, you know straight out of the freezer I think it came out pretty good um, anyways so there you have it once again um, just doing the impossible with a uh, titanium stick welder from Harbor Freight and a Miller suitcase 
All right, everyone. Thank you again for watching. Uh, please like, uh, comment, and subscribe. Um, anyways, just remember that as you kind of take on this journey or, or you know, even if you're a seasoned welder or you're just breaking into the game, um, just remember that practice is controlled failure. And um, just, you know, put in your time and be patient. Um, anyways, I will see you on the next one and um, look forward to seeing you then. Peace out.